Yo, this is LJ and today I'm going to show you three more ways on how to record your mixes and your videos with direct audio using your controller. So the last time I had a lot of people commenting that the iRig was only recording in mono or there were too many adapters used. So with these three methods, it's not going to be like that. It's going to be very simple with clear audio. So the way I set my controller is I just have the controller with one USB cable connected to the laptop and one RCA output to my speaker. Nothing fancy, that's it. So the first method that we're going to do is using Serato DJ directly with a built-in rec function. Unfortunately, if you don't have the full Serato DJ Pro version, then it's not possible. It's not possible with DJ. But if you do have it, it's very simple. You go up uh, to the rec button. As soon as you press it, uh, the section for recording is going to appear and then you just put in your settings. So the first one is basically what you want to record. Uh, I just keep it on mix because I just want to record both uh, tracks that are playing, then in your location where you want to save it. And once you did this, uh, of course you have to pull up your fader so the music is playing and you can see how loud it's going to be. And then you can adjust the knob um, I would keep it around orange that is going a little bit into the red but just a little bit because you have to remember you're gonna play two tracks at the same time when you do beat matching for example. Once you've done that you can press record and once you press record you can you can see how long it's gonna record and then press record again so it stops recording and then just uh, name your file. Once that is done, it's going to be saved and recorded and you can use that. For example, if you did a video while you were playing, you can use something like CapCut and then put one and one together. For example, you have your audio file that you just saved and then you have your video as well. And then you have to line up the audio with the video. So this was uh, method number one, uh, not the best one, but if you do have Serato DJ Pro, that's one of the options that you have to record direct audio. I mean, you can use it just for audio or you can combine it with video. For the next method, I'm using a program, it's called OBS. Uh, it's free. A lot of people ask me what is OBS. It's basically a program to stream live on Twitch and YouTube and so on if you set it up. As you can see, you can press a start streaming if you set it right. And you have a recording as well. And mine is saying stop recording because I'm recording right now. Uh, you can go to your settings and set up everything the way you want it. For example, output uh, at recording. I left it on default. The same thing in the next one. And of course, in the column audio, the same thing. I left it completely default. So the way it works is I have an empty scene right here, the way you would have it too. You press the plus sign, then you go up to um, audio input device. You can rename it the way you want it. I leave it the way it was. Just press OK. Then you have to choose your DJ controller as your input and output device. Press OK. And for the first time, it can be a bit loud. It depends on how you set your controller, but no worries. You can just uh, turn down the volume a little bit in OBS. Again, turn it down until it's yellow and barely going into the red. Then next on, you click on a plus sign again. I mean, if you need only audio, then this is good enough. You can use it. But if you want video with it, then of course you have to use a video capture device and I'm using my phone as a video capture device. So I'm going to go down to video capture device. I click on it. I leave it the way it is again. Click OK. And then you have to choose the camera. Whatever camera you have, it can be a professional camera or it can be a webcam or it can be even the built in camera that you have in your laptop. Mine is uh, Alex camera and I'm using an iPhone. It's a built-in function that comes with OBS. So I'm going to choose that. I'm going to click OK. And then basically you can see everything and you can record with direct audio. Then you can just press record and it's going to save it wherever you want to save it. On top of that, you can actually design your screen. You can put in a logo or you can use more than one camera and so on and so forth.
there was method number two so for method number three you actually have some options uh, for example you have audacity is completely free and then you have fl studio fl studio i bought fl studio because i used to do my own songs i still do sometimes and my mixtapes and edits but if you don't want to buy fl studio because it, it's quite pricey and not everyone can afford it you can actually go to the website imageline.com and you can download the full version and utilize it fully the only thing is uh, you cannot reopen or you cannot open saved projects. So if you have a project going on, you do your mixtape or you do your edit or whatever it is, you have to finish that and export that. Then you can use it, you can use that audio, but you cannot, for example, you started a project right now and you decide, oh, I'm done for today. And then I'm going to go save as, and then try to reopen the next day. This is not going to work for you. You have to pay for it. So here again, you just go to audio settings, then you choose your controller as input and output. It's a little bit crashing right now because I uh, did a mistake, but it's okay. You just mute it and then you can actually clearly see in the background that whatever is rather playing, it's playing here. Then you choose um, instead of mono, you can choose a stereo, for example. So now it's playing in stereo and then make sure you are selecting song and then you press record and you have to choose into the playlist recording into the playlist it will count down from three and then it's gonna start recording and then as you can see you can do whatever you usually do on your controller and it's gonna record properly then stop recording and you have to change back to your laptop speakers for example to listen to it so once you choose your laptop speakers again or maybe audio interface or whatever it is audio interface even easier then you of course you still have to press play and then you have to unmute it so you can hear it on your speaker uh, it's crashing like i said because i did a mistake at the beginning but it, this is how it works so these are the three ways on how to record your mixes and videos with direct audio using your controller your laptop one usb and one rca output so you have basically two options on how to record audio and separate video and then put it all back together or you have my preferred version of recording which is basically OBS where you can record both at the same time and this is three ways on how to record your mixes with direct audio and video using your controller and laptop.